<laughs> hey, uh, there's one person that kept thinking, okay, God, where are you going with this group? Because it's been a year. It's been quite a year. This is the verse that kept coming to my mind. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Now, a lot of people like to take this verse and go, yeah, see? Be happy in Jesus, and he gives you everything you want. That's it. They're like, where'd you find that one? Well, that's how you're going to quote the verse and live out the verse. You don't get the reference because it's wrong. <laughs> Delight yourself. Take pleasure in the Lord. Now, if you're part of PFB, you heard this message, by the way, it's going to happen. Come. But I can't get enough of it. Every time I stop and try to think about the size and majesty and glory of God, it freaks me out. And I can guarantee that in a room this full of people, that there are, there are those of you who are crazy about Jesus. And I can guarantee in a room full of this many people, there are people that don't give a rip about Jesus. I got to tell you, he gives a rip about you. To the graduates, he is saying congratulations. And he is saying job well done. But to delight ourselves in the Lord is to take pleasure in that being that is absolutely massive. Now, I'm not a science buff. All I know about science is how to look at the pictures on the Hubble telescope website and go, whoa. <laughs> I have no clue what it means after that. But every day that sun comes right, rising up, right? And you look at it, we take it for granted, not realizing that that star, it's a star, I know that part, that star is 93 million miles away from us. He said, well, so what? The Bible says that it's out of the mouth, or out of the breath of the mouth of God, that he creates the starry host. That means every time that God exhales, he creates a star. <laughs> That's impressive, son. That God says, seek after me, and guess what? You're going to find me. The one that measures the universe with the span of his hand, you're going to find me. And when you find me, I'm going to terrify you. And I'm going to ter terrify you, not just my majesty, my size, my, my glory, but I'm going to terrify you and impress you and blow you away with my grace. And that grace is what we, as human beings who have a relationship with Jesus, are called to proclaim to the world. We do not do a good enough job defining God's glory because that is not our job. That's the universe's job. Our job is to proclaim His grace. So four things I'll leave with you real quick. Number one, God is huge. <laughs> he is huge. Number two, God is able. Number three, He is crazy about you. Therefore, number four, you've got absolutely nothing to worry about. That God who measures the universe with the span of his hand says, don't you dare be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. It's that God says, okay, give me your stuff. All the stuff you're freaked out about, give it, give it, give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. He takes it and he says, now go play. I got it. You say, what's next? I'm not sure. What if I can't? What if I, what if, what if, live? Don't live in the what ifs. That's not reality. Come to reality. Come back to what is. God is nuts about you. He is able. He is huge. Therefore, don't worry about anything. Why? Because he has the most amazing plan for you. And the best part about it is you knowing him. Let me pray for you guys. Jesus, I thank you for these students. God, wherever they're at in this journey, God, I pray that you would continue walking with them in it. I know you will. I mostly say that so that they hear it and they're reminded of it. Remind them, God, of how huge you are. When it certainly comes, God, I pray that you remind them that you are certain of the plans that you have for them. God, I pray you would protect them. God, I pray you give them dreams that are of you, visions that are of you, abilities that are of you. Bless them, guide them, and keep them. We commit them to you. God, for the parents that are here who have done such a great job, I pray. I pray for them, for the grandparents, the family, the friends, the teachers. God, I pray that they would hear the applause of heaven and be satisfied in that. I pray that they would hear you say, job well done. Commit this class to you. 
looking forward to great things. We pray this in your name. And everyone says, Amen. Congratulations. Good job. Good job. Video, video. 